everybody, welcome to another PAL place, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we, uh, we found a Kikwi, we met the Kikwi, the Kikwi clan, and we met its elder, Buka, and he said that he knows about Zelda, but he'll tell us in only if we find the other Kikwis and make sure that they're safe. So in this episode, we're gonna do that, but first, oops, but first... In the, co in the description of last episode, I said that the commentary was going to be better quality. And you may notice that there's no difference, honestly. There is no honest, real difference right now. Um, let me tell you about something. There's something in Windows, I'm, using, I'm recording with the Windows, called Mic Boosting. And what it does is it takes mics and basically exactly that it boosts them. It makes it so um, they're normally they're louder than normal. Now this is all fine and dandy unless you have a mic like I do or pretty much any mic. It's kind of a stupid setting. My mic doesn't need that. It's fine on its own, but it boosts it anyway. So although it didn't show it in my levels. Though it didn't show it in the recording level levels, it was peaking the mic. So, right now, <clears throat> I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of, the, of um, stats here. Sort of, not really. Um, my game's audio is at negative 18 decibels. And my commentary audio is at negative 9. Now, that doesn't sound... That sounds really, really low, but it's actually almost in the yellow right now. So... Mic boost. I finally found it. It's under it's under sound and recording devices. It gives it an additional 24 decibels. 24. So this is 35 decibels. That's what it is. Even though it doesn't say that, it's 35 decibels. So let's see how it sounds when it's off. Okay, mic boost off does that sound better well it is at least it, do it sounds like it to me I hope it does to you too but that sounds amazing to me I love it it's amazing. Finally, I'm satisfied with the Sennheiser PC 151. I was a little bit disappointed why it, it sounded good for people, um, other channels on YouTube who I know who use it, but it didn't sound good for me. Why? So I contacted one of them. I hope, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning him. I contacted Stephen George from the, cha the Let's Play channel Stephen Plays and his vlog, it's a four year vlog, um, called Steven Vlog. Just pretty simple names. Really good. He's a really good channel. Uh, it's a really good channel. So I contacted him because he's the person who got me, who helped, who inspired me to get the Sennheiser PC 151. Now he reached back to me and told me about mic boosting, and I really thank you, Steven. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just made my channel a whole lot better in quality. So, let's go ahead and head on. Uh, so, we're gonna find those kickwees. Enough chat, uh, enough chatting. Okay, so you go through this tree, climb up here, and it'll lead you to a rope. Also, I noticed there's echo there. It's pretty cool. So, enough, enough stat stuff. Oh, and by the way, now I'm at 7 decibels and negative uh, 24 for games audio. Okay, so go ahead and knock these down. Oops. This is kind of hard. Just balance the balance the Wiimote and move it in the opposite direction that you're uh, losing balance, and shake it to uh, to knock those burrs off. There. Otherwise, they will uh, grab onto you. And normally, they're not bothersome on the ground, but they they will explode if they um, when you're on the rope and you'll fall down. Okay, so let's jump down here. We see a Bachlin out over there, but let's go ahead and get this rupee first. That Bachlin can wait. Okay, now we can go. So he's yelling at something. 
and instantly we're surrounded. These they, these are uh, Captain Bokoblins, and they will rouse other Bokoblins to them. Come on, hit me, bro. Hit me. And our bar went down. Ow. And we took some damage. There we go. That was actually quite a battle right there. They, they can block really well. Kikwi! At least he doesn't think we're an enemy. You fought off all those red guys? Does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly, and I can't get down. Think you could help me, Kui? I detect no monsters in the, me the immediate area, and therefore conclude it is safe for the Kikwi to leave its perch. It seems that this Kikwi is unable to descend this the tree. I suggest you find a way to expedite his dismount. <laughs> I love that, expedite his dismount. If you find yourself lacking ideas, you can always press 2 to review your available actions. I almost said options. Would've worked. So, move, dash, roll. Move? That doesn't work for us. Dash? That doesn't work for us. Roll? Option 3. Door number 3 is the right one. And that worked. And it also knocked that vine down so we can get up to the ledge up there. Ouch, that was, uh, effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm saved. Kapalip? They say that a lot. Or Kipalip. And I wonder what it means. Really? The elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. Kiku. Ki Kiku. My name's Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? Oh, Kui. My legs are still shaking. She's really scary for them. I have marked the location of Lopsa the Kikwi on your map. However, dousing readings indicate there are still Kikwis to search for. I thought you were another monster. Don't scare me like that, Kukui. That'd be a good, uh... Animal Crossing catchphrase. Oh, and actually, there are two more rupees over here. Let's grab this one. The other one's a green rupee. I can tell because it's on a shorter tree. So, yeah, let's. We don't need that. So as uh, I, I see, I'm saying as you can see a lot. The our shield meter's getting uh, not low, but we damaged it. So we should keep an eye on that. I don't want. We don't want to lose our shield. Um, I'm not sure if I, I named it, but that, uh, that repair shop in the bazaar, they can repair our shield for, like, 10 rupees. So, you really want to repair it if it gets low. And these guys, these guays, let's go ahead and have Fee do a stat on them. This bird seemingly jettisons its droppings upon people's head on purpose. It is unclear if this is due to a carefree attitude or pure malice. Should its droppings land on you, I calculate the probability of your intense aggravation at 100%. That's really funny. Zero, yeah, I know. Let's go ahead and charge Skyward Strike. There we go. That'll kill him. Red Rupee. They are really good to kill. Missed. Ah, uh, who cares? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I shouldn't have done Can I kill him? Ah. Uh, I think he tried to dive bomb me. Whatever. He's no matter. He's, uh, he's of no matter to me. So the uh, second Kikwi is up here. And I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying my commentary. I think it I think it gets kind of dry at times, simply because I don't really like, I'm not good at cracking jokes like that. I'm usually kind of serious, so I don't know. So th this Kikwi probably had the best hiding spot yet. Although it, pr it probably shouldn't have moved. Uh, it kind of gives it away. So, a couple spin attacks will take care of this grass. 
Come on. Stop moving. <laughs> His face. I've been discovered. And here I thought I had a good hiding place, Quee. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in these woods that's half as good at hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course, Quee. Solid Kikui. He's not even scared by her. He's solid Kikui. I've marked the location of Erla the Kikui on your map. However, dousing readings indicate there are still Kikuis to search for. You met the Elder, and he's okay. Woo. Glad to hear it, Kui. If you see him again, would you please tell him I'm here? I'm solid, Erla. And I will kill you in your sleep. With a spife. It's the mis mixture of a spork and a knife. And it's made of metal. Okay, enough of that. So, let's do something cool. Let's jump attack this guy. Come on! Ah! Oh, I should charge up the Scarred Strike. You know what? I'm gonna go, like, Super Saiyan on these guys. Come here. There we go. That's how I normally fight. I haven't been fighting too good. I've just been kind of slow. And also, there's another Woodland Rhino. Um... You know how I said that they don't they don't give you that text box every time you get an uh, uh, item or a bug? Well, that's because they give it to you every time you start up the game. So you'll just have to deal with it the first time. Every other time is fine, though. It won't do it. So let's go ahead and run and roll through here. Shield bash this guy on the other side. Kind of jerkish placement, if you ask me. This guy's not as bad. Ow. There we go. Jerk. It's easy to shield bash. I don't know why I ran over there. Um, about... There's a heart piece over there, over here. For those of you who don't know, I... Where have you been? <laughs> but, for those of you who don't know heart pieces you get f you get four and you'll get another uh, heart container and you'll get another heart on your heart meter and they refill your hearts which is nice but pe people are probably wondering what I'm going to be doing with the collectibles I mean there are gonna be a few episodes that I'm gonna dedicate to them but it's not just gonna it's not gonna be like a I do all of them at the end it's gonna be pro it's gonna be more like it's gonna be more like if I see one I get it but otherwise, I sp I'll, if there are any left over, I'll, like, spend an episode on them. So, like, you know, if, if you want to find out how to get all the heart pieces in the game, you could just look up a walkthrough. And all this, though this is a walkthrough, you know, you're going to be watching all of it. And I'd rather not make it boring by just getting a bunch of collectibles in one go. As for glitches, I'm going to be doing them sep in separate videos at the end. There are a couple glitches that take a long time to do, and it, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather not, you guys w not watch me do like 50 tries. Don't eat me! I taste terrible! Let me go, Quee! Huh? The Elder is worried about me? I'm glad to hear he's safe, Quee. I'm Ulo. Ulo. If you meet if you meet the elder, tell him I'm here, Key Palip. See that there it is again. They keep saying that. I st I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. I'm not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the Kikwi elder. What was that just now, Quee? Don't scare me like that. Okay. No, I, I, why did I do that? I just did that. So, easy way to get down, just jump. And you end up near Maki. And also, uh, these respawned. So, I'll get another one.
There's actually one more I'll grab while I'm at it. And it's actually on the way, so that's that's really convenient. And as you can see, there are lots of treasures in this game. Lots of treasures and bugs. And we will cover we'll cover some of those when we um, after the first temple. Jump up here. Wait. No, sorry. Jump over here. This is where it is. And there's the other treasure. The uh, ember relic. Yeah. Just right up here, just like we did before. Oh, and they respawn because I quit the game. But the enemies that I defeated last episode didn't respawn, so there's a fact for you guys. Buka. Quee. So all my se fellow Kikwis are well? And they want me to stop worrying? Ah, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know uh, I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> Kui hee hee. I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. Good. That you didn't have any other favors that we should do for him. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Kui. Oh ho, I tried to warn her, warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever thing just vaulted off my belly and ran it, uh, ran off on her own, just the same. Why was she on his stomach? It's kind of weird. Hmm. I think she headed that way toward the temple, Kui. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. The Ariel's crawling with monsters. Choo. I almost forgot, Kui. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I'll give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Choo. Let me just fetch it for you right now, Kui. Pardon me, pardon me a moment. Avalanche! A slingshot was in his back. T climb up and get the reward, okay. Got the slingshot. Use this projectile shooting weapon to sh fling Deku seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. You can press down anytime you want to center the cursor. First item of eight. <laughs> With that slingshot, Kui, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. So those vines, we can shoot them and knock them down. Yes, I know. It's not like a Skyward Sword where you press B and then like B to shoot it again. And oh, because if you do that, it'll put it away. That was so frustrating to me because I had just finished playing through Twilight Princess when I played this game. So I was constantly doing that. And it was so annoying. So let's go ahead and kill this Bakoblin over here. A fun way. Die. That was pretty fun. And let's get this one. There we go. And let's get this one because it's your Whoa, it's a blue ruby. So I was wrong. Okay. Wait, what about this one? Green? Yep. Let's go ahead and swim through here. And sadly, you can't booster, like, swim fast. All you can do is that. Pretty lame. One of my only complaints. Let's do this, uh, solid Erla style. Sorry, solid link. It 
Solid Link. He will kill you in your sleep. Da 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Master, I highly suggest you say. Yeah, I know. Save. But you have to admit, Fee's getting less annoying. Okay, so let's go on over here. Running. No. There. And uh, if you're wondering how to get uh, new more seeds, uh, actually, yeah, she'll tell us. That's convenient. Isn't, isn't it the normal way? Yeah, 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 down. We just told, which, yeah. She didn't tell us what I was going to say. Okay, these, you can get the seeds from. So they're actually different and useful. Wait, what? How's it different? Just yeah, it, it, there's no other way to take it out. Interesting. Whatever. Oh, I, I know what she meant. She, she thought that like uh, we would just do this every single time and not just tap it. Okay. So I guess I, I guess that was relevant. I'll, I'll give I'll give you that one, Fee. Let's go on in here. Kind of ominous. Very ominous. But it's not all that creepy in here. Just the entrance is ominous. The rest is like just normal woods. Except for that temple. That That's something you don't see every day. Area 2 of the forest. I don't really know why they do that. I've confirmed the plant life of this area matches that of Farron Woods. We have reached the area locally referred to as the Deep Woods. Now we should continue toward the temple in search of Zelda. I'm kind of starting to give her a GLaDOS voice, I guess. Where's the other one? Peace! Grab that. There are bees right there. And... Oh, our f that's our first? Really? Oh. Don't. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Oh, don't attack me. Don't attack. Okay. Okay. I, I want to get what's in there. I also... Whoa. Three beetles. Okay. We're going to do this carefully. First this. Ow, where is it? Okay. I'm gonna grab the bee larva. It counts as hornet larva. It counts as a bug, not a treasure. Actually, never mind. It counts as a treasure. I was lying. Normally, we can catch them with the bug net, but instead, let's just run. I'm taking damage. 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 But they're gone. Okay, now we can get those uh, beetles. Really? There's no Why won't you fall? Oh, he fell, but he got stuck in the ivy. Interesting. I didn't know that was an actual model. Okay, heart. Heart. Good. So let's go on this way. Down the trail. Oh, interesting note, you can stab these and carry them around. Wait, let's, let's start to see if we can do this. Ah, okay. While this guy's close, if you shoot that. Oh, it's been my experience that they'll uh, attack him. Cause you kind of have to sneak across here or go as fast as you can. Cause if he sees you, it's game over. Let's go ahead and go up here. Um, I, th I know this isn't the right way, but there's a log up here. For a shortcut. I don't know why we'd need it. It's no shorter than just going the other way, but I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat. Eh, 
and kill him. And blue rupee. And we're gonna jump over here. Okay, so there's gonna be a stamina fruit. Why do we need it, honestly? Why do we need it? It's interesting that they put that there. What fee? Oh. Thank you, I didn't notice that. Okay, this guy is going to climb up, climb on with us. And he's gonna try to swipe us. So we're gonna do this. And shake it. And he's going to, please fall. There we go. Hopefully we can, yeah, we can make it. Yeah, so that's pretty cool that they did that. That's really cool, I think. Shield bash, ow, swing. I don't know why I did, did that. So there's a save point here and we're going to use it. Um, I have a Smashboards page if you want to kind of follow my progress. And it, in case there's like something that's late. No! Uh, that was humiliating. Is there another one here? In case like an episode's late, like for example, um, last episode it was late. Then you can find out, for example, I was sick. I don't think I said, but that coughing fit that led into a f like a three-day flu thing, 102 degree fever. It wasn't fun, which led into an ear infection, which I have now. So that's that's why the, the uh, last episode was late, and this episode, well, it wasn't late, but yeah, it, it took me a while to work on audio. Okay, so. Follow me on my Smashboards page. It's in the description. Uh, Dark Star Storm. That's my profile name. And that shield is concerning me. And yeah, if you like this episode, click subscribe. It's there for a reason. Uh, tell your friends about me. And if you want to, like my videos. And I'll see you another. Uh, I'll see you next time for another clean LP of Pal Plays: The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.